das nicht. Nein, nein. Tu das nicht. Nein. By looking at popular shows like Dark and Money Heist, there's no question that foreign movies and series are no longer being relegated to the shelves of hipsters. With Netflix as a streaming platform working hard to bring these to the eyes of their members, and with the success that these shows have been gaining over the last few months, it's no wonder that Netflix has continued this push. The latest series that finds its place on the platform is Tribes of Europa. But what do we really know about it, and is it worth checking out? Well, whether you're a fan of foreign shows or have been looking for reasons to take a look at this one, you've come to the right place, as we're about to discuss everything we currently know about Tribes of Europa. So strap yourselves in and get ready for a review of the series that next to everyone is talking about. But before jumping right into it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe with notifications on so you don't miss any of the new videos we post. What is Tribes of Europa? For those of you who hadn't started watching Tribes of Europa just yet, think of it as a grittier form of Hollywood backed movies like The Maze Runner and The Divergent franchise. The science fiction series is German in origin, but comes complete with English captions for those who enjoy the originality of foreign series, but also gives the option to dub the show in English for those of you who don't like to read. In other words, there is really no reason why you shouldn't pick this first season up. Set in 2074 and directed by the team of Philip Cook and Florian Baxmayer, Tribes of Europa imagines a post-apocalyptic world where Europe has been divided into a number of warring tribes and microstates who, as you can imagine, fight for the lands that now lie unoccupied. Without giving too much away, the viewer follows the story arc of three siblings who discover a strange cube lying in the forest near to a crashed Atlantean aircraft. What this cube can do and why the other tribes seem to be interested in it, we have no idea. But it is up to Keanu, Liv, and Elijah to make a name for themselves by completing this quest before falling to the horrors that await them. How many episodes can you expect? For those of you who don't want to be too committed to a series right now, Tribes of Europa is probably for you, as the German series consists of only six parts and can thus be binged in less than a day if you really have the time. You'll find yourselves absolutely loving the series if you enjoyed other Netflix originals like Dark and Barbarian, as Tribes of Europa follows closely in the footsteps of these neighboring German shows. It must also be said that each episode averages at about 45 minutes in length, causing the full runtime of the series to be around four and a half hours long? Since the combined length of the Lord of the Rings trilogy is longer than this, you have no excuse not to try it out. When does it release on Netflix? Well, luckily for you, Tribes of Europa already released on the platform on February 19th, 2021. And unlike Snowpiercer, all six episodes have already been released. So you won't have to wait a whole week for your questions to be answered. What is the best way to watch Tribes of Europa? Like every Netflix original released in the last couple of weeks, Tribes of Europa is indeed available to watch in 4K, which is obviously the only way you'll ever want to watch it. To be able to do so, however, you'll have to ensure that you have a Netflix Premium membership, a device from which you are able to watch shows in 4K, as well as an internet connection which is able to maintain at least 25 megabits per second consistently. That being said, watching the series in 1080p is the next best thing, so if you don't have any of the above, don't worry. You won't be excluded or miss out on anything major. Are any members of the cast worth a watch? In a strange twist of fate, it must be said that where most series have one or two cast members that stand out amongst the rest, Tribes of Europa introduces us to a realistic world filled to the brim with both likable and unlikable characters whom viewers will either grow to love or hate. And in all honesty, every single cast member has their time to shine when dealing with this particular character in story arcs. Emilio Sacrea, for example, portrays the role of Keanu and steals the hearts of the viewer from the get-go by showing just how close he is with his sister, Liv, as portrayed by the incredible Henriette Confurious. The last sibling, who is arguably the most important in the cast, comes in the form of David Ali Rashed, who plays the part of Elijah. It's within the first few minutes of the season that viewers find themselves transfixed by these members of the Origins tribe, who, after hunting a wolf, encounter a futuristic spacecraft crash in the forest just beyond their view. With each particular character having their own opinion on what should be done next, it becomes clear that these siblings are quite 
different from one another, with them ultimately deciding to take things slow and discuss the matter with their leader before running headfirst into trouble. What makes the performances so great, in other words, is the exquisite writing of the show, which won't leave you asking why the characters are doing certain things as you find yourself asking with other shows. Smart characters portrayed excellently. What more could you ask for, right? The season in recap. For those of you who haven't made the decision to watch Tribes of Europa yet, what on earth are you waiting for? Pause this video right now and get to watching. And when you're done, come on back, as we're about to give a quick summary of the plot before moving on to what we expect in the seasons to come. In other words, major spoiler alert ahead. So be warned. The first episode of the season not only serves as an introduction to the post-apocalyptic world of Europe after the blackout of 2029, but serves to familiarize us with the tribe of the origins which Keanu, Liv, and Elijah belong to. We see that they are one with nature, and like the Amish, renounce all forms of technology which in their opinion led to the destruction of the world. But after experiencing the crash of futuristic aircraft and collecting a strange looking technological cube, the tribe is attacked by a bunch of gas huffing soldiers from another tribe which goes by the name of the Crows. The fight doesn't go well for the hunter-gatherers, with the episode ending on a bit of a cliffhanger with Liv appearing to be dead and the rest of the tribe under their surrender to the Crows. Elijah was luckily able to escape in the confusion of the battle, however, and finds himself in a workshop of sorts where he meets a Han Solo-esque character by the name of Moses. After a tiny bit of betrayal, the two become quite close and form a great team for the episodes to come. Liv also awakens and finds herself colliding with another tribe by the name of the Crimsons. And with all of the introductions now out of the way, the season is kicked into overdrive with Liv's failed interrogation of Grietta resulting in her joining the Crimsons, but then attacking their leader and breaking Grietta out. And when they have a moment alone, Grietta doesn't try to kill her. Curious. When we see how Keanu is being treated as a slave to the crows and find that his attitude has not yet broken, refusing to eat the extravagant meal that Vivara had prepared for him, she commands another slave to eat it off the floor and then has what appears to be unconsensual sex with Keanu. Not cool, Vervara, although later it does appear that Keanu might just be falling for her. Quite a strange set of events, but to each their own. We also see Moses causing a distraction which allows Elijah to sneak back into Bracker's sanctuary and steal the cube, but he is caught and confesses everything. Surprisingly, Bracker lets them go. Keanu then earns his place in the Boj, where it turns out he will be fighting his father for the right to become a crow. After killing his father, he is given his first off with Walk, learning that his new name is Terok. Liv also gets into a bit of a firefight of her own, which ends up taking Grietta's life. But by far the most intriguing cliffhanger that the season ends on is discovered when Elijah and Moses reach the shoreline, seeing nothing before them. He throws the cube toward the ocean in frustration and looks on in surprise as it hangs there defying gravity. Then all of a sudden an elevator of sorts rises from the ground, allowing both Elijah and Moses to stand inside. The doors close and the elevator begins to move downward once more, causing the end credits to roll. What can we expect from season two? Although the second season of Tribes of Europa hasn't been confirmed by Netflix just yet, which is nothing to worry about considering that the show only released a few days ago, there's no doubt that a second season was provided for with the cliffhanger of an ending. A question that we expect to be answered shortly after the second season begins is where on earth Elijah and Moses are being taken by the mystical elevator that stepped into at the end of season one. We know that the cube is Atlantean in nature, and that it's only Atlantean technology that somehow survived the blackout of 2029. So this clearly means that the elevator is also Atlantean, right? What we assume is that the Atlanteans were saved from the effects of the blackout because their colony has always been hidden from the surface of the world. And by the looks of the elevator, it's likely that they have been hiding underground for all this time. Considering that the term Atlantean is often used to refer to as the inhabitants of the mystical tribe of the lost city of Atlantis who lived underwater, this isn't a stretch to the imagination. We also see that Liv has met up with a woman by the name of Alia, who comes from a tribe by the name of Femen. Although we don't know much about them, they appear to be the reincarnation of the Amazonian tribe of warrior women. Since Liv is already a woman of quite some skill, we assume that Alia will experience these talents of hers, allowing her to become a member of the tribe once and for all. All in all, we will be left with Keanu of the Crows, Liv of the Femens, and Elijah of the Atlanteans. And while the siblings might be at odds with one another at first, it is their closeness that will bring these tribes together once and for all, bringing about a peaceful world. But hey, that's just our theory. Let us know what you think in the comments section down below.